So guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about arrays and what does an array looks like and what all we can do with the help of an array. Okay, we will talk all about this. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So what's an array? Basically, if you see the definition of array, an array means a pile or collection of some objects. Okay, an array means a pile or collection of some objects. For example, it can be an array of books. Now, if you take so many books and just arrange them like this, it can be an array of books. Okay, it can be an array of say people. If you make people stand one after another, it can be an array of people, etc. So this way, the collection of many objects is known as an array. If you take so many objects, collect them together, that collection will be known as an array. Now the question arises, what is an array in terms of computer? Okay, in terms of computer science, what an array means? So in computer science, an array means a collection of similar types of values. In computer science, an array means a collection of similar types of values. Now what does this mean? So this means we can take an array like this int a. Now this int means a is an array of integer types. That means that a will contain all the integer type values. This is an array A which contains all the integer type values. That means A contains all the values of similar types. This is an array. Now this thing, the similar types, this is very necessary. We can't take, we can't take like this. This will be wrong. Okay. Values must be of similar types. That is if A is a number type array or if A is a number type array or A is an integer type array, it must contain only integer type values that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or any integer value. It can't contain any character value. Now let's take one more example. Now this time we will take a character array. Now this array can contain only character values. Now those value can be anything A, B, C, X, Y, Z, anything. Okay, but those must be only of character type. This array is of character type that means it can't contain any integer or any other value. So the very important part of the array is that the values must be of similar types. It can't contain values of different types. Right? Now the question arises why the use of array is so important? Why we must use array and where we must use it? So for understanding this we must look at this example. So for example if we want to save the marks of a student in 5 subjects. So, for storing those marks, we must take 5 variables, right? So, let's take them. So, it's his marks will be m1 is equal to 5, m2 is equal to 6, m3 is equal to like 10, m4 is equal to 11 and m5 is equal to 20. So, these can be the marks of a student. Okay, so we are taking how many variables? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now this is when we have to take only 5 marks. So now this is when we have to take only 5 marks. But what about if we had to take 100 marks, then we had to make 100 variables. So won't it be a benefit if we will take all those marks under a single variable? So we can take all these marks under a single variable like array m is equal to 5, 6, 10, 11, 20 and so on. Okay. So using an array, we can save all those similar types of value under a single variable known as an array. Now let's see how an array is stored in the memory. Okay. So for example, we are making an array. Int a is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have taken 5 values. 
So let's see how this array will be stored in memory. So if we make the memory diagram of this array, that will be like this. That array A will contain 5 blocks or 5 spaces that will contain these values 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Right. So this array that we have made in the program is stored in the memory like this. It will be stored in blocks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that are memory block 1, memory block 2, memory, blo memory block 3, 4 and 5. So these are memory blocks in which the elements are stored. Now how we will differentiate between these values that is between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So for this we must understand the concept of index. So what is an index? Basically index is nothing but the position of those elements. So what is the position of those elements? Let's see. So we can say this is the first position, second position, third position, fourth and fifth position. But there is a slight change. In computer the positions start from 0 to n minus 1. So what does this mean? Let's see. The positions will start from 0. Then this position is 1, this position is 2, this position is 3 and this position is 4. So what does this n minus 1 means? This n minus 1 means that if there are 5 elements. So what is the length of this array? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So there are 5 elements. So there are 5 elements and what are the positions? 0 to 4. That means if there are 5 elements, the positions will start from 0 and go up to n minus 1 that is 5 minus 1 up to 4. Okay, so these are the position or index of those elements. So this is the concept of an array. So if there are values stored in an array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 any values. So for those the indexes will be start from 0 and go up to 4. Now suppose if you want to call this element. So what we can write? We can write a at 1. So a at 1 is equal to 2. Okay. So a at position 1 is equals to 2. Now what if we want this value? So for taking this value we will write a at 4. So this is the method and it contains 5. So a at 4 contains 5. Now this is the method by which we call the particular element from an array. Okay, so for calling the particular element from an array, you must know its position. The position is very necessary. So please remember the concept of index in an array. It is a root of an array. So don't forget it. And always remember one thing that the positions never start from 1. They start from 0 and go up to n minus 1. So by now we have learned so many things about an array. That is an array is a collection of similar kinds of values and we use an array where we want to store multiple values of similar types. Like when we have to store uh, marks of several students together, we can use an array and you can also take the best example of Facebook. So where do you think Facebook stores the names and so many details of its users? It uses arrays. So an array can store hundreds, thousands, lakhs and crores of data together into one place. Okay, So that makes handling those data very easier. So that is the use of an array. And last but not the least about the positions. An array contains positions that start from 0 and goes up to less than one length. So if the length of an array is 100 or an array contains 100 elements, then the positions will start from 0 and go up to one less that is 99. So why are these positions so necessary? These positions are necessary because they help us to differentiate between one element of an array from another element. So these positions help us to fetch out or give away a value to a particular element in an array. So if we know that element position, we can access that element or save the value or fetch a value from that position. So I hope you understood the topic and if you like the video, please like it and please share it with all your friends. And if you want more of such videos, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to give your reactions in the comment section. Okay, if you have any problem in this video and you want me to make lecture on any other topic, so please write us in comment and at last there is a question for you all. So try to solve it and answer it in the comments. So let's meet in the next video. Thanks for watching.